Hello everyone, Derek Stam Toys back with a little bit of an unusual video. As you can see, I've got a steel cage set up around my arena. Something that obviously looks a little odd with the clips there. Technically, there's supposed to be a third one on the back wall, but I can't find it at the moment. But I had a question pop up that was very reminiscent of like a steel cage that you might be able to use for the bigger scale rings obviously mine would kind of qualify in that so i'm gonna try to explain how i did this if you don't know the steel cage itself is technically from two different steel cage pieces as we've got the door here which is obviously able to open so you could have your superstars walk up enter we've got a wall that is one of the breakaway walls on this steel cage so as long as you're careful about it because i don't have it propped into place you can knock a wall down and have somebody get speared through it 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 just may look a little wonky because there's nothing propping it in place there so that that may be something you want to look into. But this is what I was thinking about using for a future steel cage match and a pick fed. And as you can see, doing spots from the top of the cage is actually doable. You can have Christian and Jericho fall down and have them take a bump. You can have Hungy dive from the top. He takes a bump. Edge could spear the crap out of CM Punk. It, all around, I'd say this is a pretty playable idea that you could use, especially if you don't have the casual money laying around to buy a steel cage that might fit your authentic scale rings or your ultimate edition scale rings. Because I want to say those are technically the same scale, but it might be a little bit different. I'm not too sure. But, if you don't have clips like I do, obviously that has a little bit of extra support. What I did here, I took the little like bendy wire that you would get around a loaf of bread, and I twisted it around there, and everything actually came out pretty well on that aspect. The only one that doesn't have a twist tie around it is this side. And I figured, while well, I can't find the third clip, I might as well at least have something holding up that side. Because normally, I have this over here. I thought I just saw something weird, I can't even lie. But, normally I have part of that steel cage over in that little section to kind of just build a little bit of a wall. So it doesn't feel so empty spaced over in that section. But th this one isn't really too long of a video. I just figured I'd show this idea off and maybe see how some of you other figure collectors and stuff of that nature may take this as a little cheap alternative. Especially if you've got some of these old sets laying around. But yeah, I don't really have too much more left to say on this. It's just... Yeah, it's a nice little idea if you guys have it in mind. Because I want to use this to have a steel cage match in my pick fetter. Maybe I want to do a match that's kind of similar to War Games. But obviously I don't have enough room in my arena for two arenas. Plus an announce table and all that stuff. Not that the announce table would matter, but... In the war game scenario, it would be kind of difficult to build it with this big of a ring. But I've seen it done, so... Maybe if you want a cleaner, slicker look, you buy the bigger steel cage walls and instead of trying to DIY it like I have. But... I think it works. And on that note, if you guys like the video, like the video. If you dislike it, feel free to do that too. It won't hurt my feelings either way. 
If you're interested in more content like this, action figure reviews, and future PickFed episodes, feel free to subscribe. And I also do have a, a, a little playlist for the PickFed made onto the channel so you guys can go and look it up. Speaking of the PickFed, just really quick before I hop off, I just thought about it. I hope you guys liked the commentary style of it. I hope I can get a little bit better and not forget so many moves while I'm recording it mid-match. It's going to happen, but maybe I'll hopefully get a little bit better with that. And just the editing of the crowd noise and stuff like that in general. But that was just my first attempt at it in the last episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you're looking forward to the next couple of episodes. Because to announce it here, the next two episodes will feature battle royals for tag teams. And the two winners of each of those battle royals will move on. To compete for the tag team championships at yeah at addicted the chaos i almost said chaos theory but now that i got that out of the way i already said like it if you want to like it subscribe if you want to do that as well you can follow me on instagram tiktok and Twitter, all under the same name of Derek Stam Toys. I want to say I also use the same profile picture for all the accounts as well. So, if you guys want to follow me on there, maybe leave a comment if you would like. Feel free, but on that note, I think I am out of here. Peace out, you guys.